Today on Rift Spirits and Gear, we check out the Artifact Suite from Saw and Tones. Solemn Tones has long been associated with very high quality MIDI instruments, and they have recently gone into the world of uh, utilitarian plugins, beginning with the Artifact Suite. Now, the Artifact Suite is a series of five different plugins that myself and Mr. Josh Wildhorn are going to show you guys today. Now, out of those five, I'm going to be showing you three. I'm going to be showing you uh, Overload, Frostbite, and Room, and Josh is gonna be showing you guys Smash and Beast. Now, these individual uh, plugins are very a little bit. There are some commonalities between them, but uh, for right now, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get right into it and dive into this mix that is in front of me. Okay, so first, I'm going to show you guys Overload. Now, the uh, the mix that we are using today was actually done by Mr. Josh over here. I'm a proud dad because it sounds really good. Um, this is from a band called Nova Fracture. And uh, the song is called Reviving Life, and they have been nice enough to let me use the mix to show you guys these plugins from Solemn Tones. But if you find yourself enjoying the song, it is available on all streaming platforms worldwide. So go out and stream it and buy it and uh, just enjoy it because it's actually a really great song. And it sounds good too because of him. He's really good. Let's get to Overload, shall we? So here's how the song sounds. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna start it from the beginning. And we're going to first start with overload on the snare. And I'm going to turn, I'm gonna start with it off. And I'm gonna turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, and then we're going to solo it, and then we're gonna talk about it. So here is the song as it sits right now. Okay, so what did you notice? Well, I'll tell you what I noticed. I'm gonna solo the snare, and I'm gonna start it from right where it comes in. So Overload is a clipper, and what a clipper is, it is taking the transients, and instead of compressing them, it is basically kicking them out and kind of I don't know, just not distorting them per se, it's it's overloading. And what basically what happens is the transients spread out and re results in a perceived uh, loudness without actually going over and clipping. And you'll also typically hear some uh, more clarity in the top end. Overload in particular, I have, uh, the mix is, I don't know, about 55, 60%. I do not have the clip. I don't know, not even halfway, but it's adding uh, some nice top end and it's really cutting in the mix. Now I'm gonna play the snare again and I'm going to uh, turn it off and on. You can really hear the difference. I will also note that if you want to link the um, mix or the output and the mix, it's not letting me because as it states, I need to uh, I need to be at zero, but it will automatically compensate for the volume. It's kind of basically like an auto gain. I do not have this on currently because I want to be free to just turn it up as much as I want to, but that is overload. And I can obviously click on the tube just to turn it off and on as well. I don't have to use the actual plugin on off button, but either way works just fine. That's overload. Next, I'm gonna show you Smash. Uh, it's essentially a very aggressive compressor, so they advertise it to use with vocals, but uh, I'm gonna try using it as my drum parallel compression. So I'm gonna play the drums just by themselves with and then without the drum parallel bus, uh, so you can see what happens.
So as you can hear, it's just bringing out all of that life out of the drums. When you turn it off, it just kind of sounds flat. Uh, and it's just adding a lot of that vibe to the drums. It's adding a lot of girth. Girth. If I may say so myself. So uh, as with all of these plugins, I have the mix not at 100% and the gain is down pretty far because it's very aggressive of a plugin. Um, but just for, just for fun, I'm going to show you how it sounds maxed out. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. It's very aggressive. It needs to calm down. It needs to stop drinking so much coffee. Okay, so next we're gonna travel on over to my, my two bus. And at the very last instance, I have Frostbite. Now Frostbite is a saturation plugin. It's adding some kind of nice tapey, tapey goodness. It's really kind of a glue. And it will also typically bring up the low end of whatever is going through it. So this is especially handy on kick drums, um, all sorts of buses, bass, guitar, buses, um, I don't typically use this kind of thing on guitars, electric gu high gain guitars, but for this uh, song, I thought it sounded really good on the two bus. So I'm gonna play the song again, I'm gonna unsolo the drums, and I'm gonna play it, and I'm gonna turn this off and on, and uh, you will absolutely hear a difference, I promise. This is actually fairly subtle, the way we have it right now. We didn't want to add too much saturation being on the two bus. Um, this is adding some kind of, I don't know, it's just adding... Body. It's adding general body, it's adding glue, and um, it's just adding some nice sweetness to it. Uh, this is not a knock you over the head um, kind of plug-in. Uh, I would use it sparingly, and you can also use it in multiple places as well. Notice I have the drive you know, 55%. So with Frostbite, a little goes a very long way, but that little bit is just, it's the seasoning on your steak that is in this case, a really great sounding mix. So next we're gonna go back to the snare and I'm going to show you Room. Now Room is a reverb as the name implies. Right now we have it uh, directly on the snare track. Now. If you recorded a drum track, maybe in a very small room or a less than ideal sounding room, this is a great plugin to add basically a pseudo room to your snare drum. So I'm gonna solo this just so you guys can hear what's going on. I'm gonna turn off room and let you hear how it sounds with, with and without it. Okay, it's very, very handy for just adding another dimension, especially with uh, uh, single parts of the kit, namely the snare and maybe you could do the toms as well. Notice with the dry, we have it again, notice the commonality here, about 55%, just over half-ish. And the wet is also eh, about half. Uh, low cut, no, we didn't use any high or low cut. Very, very simple very effective. This sounds very, very nice, and you can select between uh, different room sizes with the arrows, the left and right arrows. So there's big room, small plate, medium plate, big plate, special space, etc., etc. Lots of fun stuff in this one. This is probably my favorite plugin out of the entire Artifact Suite. And last but not least, let's check out Beast. So this is a pitch shifter and harmonic exciter plugin. That's probably my favorite uh, out of all of these. It's really cool to just add some like interesting flavors to anything. Um, I tried adding it on vocals and it was instantly, wow, this, this, is, oh. this is really cool. Uh, so I'm gonna show you, uh, just gonna solo the vocals and um, try a few of these modes out and see what they add to the vocals.
That's so that, cool. That's so cool. Yeah, I like that one a lot. And that does it for today's video about the Artifact Suite from Psalm Tones. If you're looking for some uh, additional Sonic tools to add to your toolbox, definitely check these out. They're very creative. They're also very utilitarian, and I found them all very good. I, I do really like Beast, having just heard it just now. Beast might be my favorite. It's very, I think, I think Beast is definitely the funnest of the bunch. And with that, we will gonna we are gonna sign off and we're gonna say goodbye. And uh, you've been wonderful. I've been Fluff. He's been Josh. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>